Whether you are suiting up for the big game or tailgating from home, one thing is always a touchdown guarantee. Delicious food is the MVP, and registered dietitian Mia Sin is here with lots of it, with a slightly healthier take to add to your playbook. So, Mia, I am so excited for game day with you. Yes! Oh my gosh, excited. Um, so, you know, I love game day eats. Who doesn't? It's all about the food, in my opinion. Agreed. Um, but this is a game day party platter. This is something you can have fun with. I have two dips here. This is a chipotle mayo and an avocado mayo. Um, I love using this Primal Kitchen mayo with avocado oil. It's made with six simple, high-quality ingredients, certified humane organic cage-free eggs, avocado oil instead of canola oil, no added sugar, number one natural, um, or number one mayo brand in natural grocery stores. You mm -hmm. can find it at Publix and Whole Foods. But I just mix that with some lime juice and avocado. And then for the chipotle mayo, you can just do the mayo with like a little bit of chipotle seasoning, lime juice, super simple, and good fats. And then you can pair it with fruits, veggies. And um, this, these are anti-pasto um, Oh, there's I like a little these. tortellini in there. And a little cute. tortellini. I love making these. They look so cute. And uh, I use these Volpe Food Sliced uh, Heritage Prosciutto and the Salami. And you can find this at Publix. It's a fourth generation woman owned company. They use all natural ingredients, including raised responsibly pork. And then what I do is I'll just add some um, olives on there, some artichoke hearts, tortellini, and grapes. So fun and for game the, day. For the artichoke hearts, can you use like ones that are already in the jar? Do you usually prep them? What do you yes. do for that? The ones in the jar are perfect. Perfect. Again, we, we love just like an easy go-to but healthy option. Yes. Um, this is one of my favorite game day um, food options. Walking tacos. Have you had these? Yum. Okay. So I've never seen them done like this. This is way cuter than throwing stuff in a bag. Yes. I Yeah. I like to personalize it, make it a little cuter than just cutting off the top of a, a chip <laughs> bag. Um, but you can just add your chips to a little tray and then add your toppings as you would like for tacos. So what I did here is I cooked the impossible beef. This, these are the impossible products, a really easy way to get in plant-based protein mm -hmm. into your diet. And they also have comparable uh, protein to the meat counterparts, which is good, you know, good to know, but zero cholesterol since it's plant-based. So I just cooked these grounds with some taco seasoning, and then you can use that to top your chips for your plant protein, plant-based protein, and then we can do some um, plant-based cheese on top and some lettuce, tomato, just whatever your heart desires. I think that's so fun just to like set up something that's interactive because that's another thing is yes. game day. There's sometimes a little bit of a lull in the day so everyone's not crowded around one spot. If you can set up fun little appetizer stations or something like this where it's a walking taco bar, it's a real crowd pleaser. Yes, like a halftime activity. Okay, everyone come together. Yeah, like halftime walking activity, tacos. time to make your own walking taco. <laughs> I love, love it. it. <laughs> Ready, break. Um, yes. And obviously we got to end something Dessert. with a sweet treat. The great thing about Mia is she's never going to let you leave the table without yeah. something sweet that's not going to just break that calorie. Bank. So what did you try today? Yes. So these are my almond flour black bean brownies. So Ooh. these are two of my favorite things to bake with. Uh, one is nut flour because you're going to get more plant-based protein. You're going to get those good fats. It's naturally gluten-free. This is the Nature Eats brand. You can find it at Walmart. I used almond flour, but you can do walnut flour, pecan flour. And then beans are a great way to add fudginess, moisture to your baked goods. Um, and cut back on the amount of fat you use so you don't have to use as much oil mm. or as much butter. So those are my two baking hacks. I have a lot of recipes on my website, black bean brownies, chickpea blondies. So yeah, yep. all so made you with common definitely flowers, want to give them a try. And also you have an entire cookbook. I think we can't forget that you have a big, beautiful cookbook full of all of your recipes, but yes. also we want to make sure we can stay connected for more game day eats and big crowd pleasers. So how can we do that? You can follow me on Instagram at Nutrition by Mia. I share healthy recipes and nutrition tips daily. And then my website is nutritionbymia.com. Fantastic, Mia. Well, thank you. This is a total touchdown. We'll be back with a lot more River City Live coming up right after this.